So, what are we doing today? Cooking steak. With who? Schnick. Chef Nick. Chef Nick. Schnick. <laughs> and the audience of beggars. <laughs> but, so what do we have here today? We got a cast iron pan heating up. Got the oven up at 450. Got some vegetables. Um, some sauce that we're going to try on a steak. And we got some little ribeyes in there. So, first thing we're going to do, what's Nick going to do? Open we're going to get, steak. yeah, get one steak out of there. And we're going to just cook one at a time. Pan's kind of small. Kind of pan. So, whichever one of those guys you want, I left them out to get to room temperature. Okay, so, what are you going to do? Get some salt and pepper on that steak? Yep. Yep. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh. Season them up pretty good. You can put whatever you want on there. Give it some good shakes. Oh yeah, there you go. Look at that. Okay, salt, same thing? Yep. And you gotta flip them over and do the same thing. Oh. Okay. Can open it for a second. Okay, that's gonna pour out like mad. Oh, open the big hole. That's fine. Rub them in. Yep, Let's rub them in, dude. I eat pepper. We're gonna have a very peppery steak. It is gonna be a very peppery steak today, but that's fine. Eh. Okay, flip them over. No, no. Oh, you gotta salt them again, don't you? Yeah, salt. Okay, flip them over again. Maybe shake off some of that excess pepper or get some of it to stick on the other side. Who knows? Some of, the, some of the excess pepper. He's going to be one peppery steak. He is. But guess what? That's how we do. Okay. Pick him up with the tongs and put him in there nicely. He's probably going to be really hot, so don't burn yourself. Just let him sit. Nice. So let him cook for like 30 seconds there. And we'll give it a little twist to make sure it's not sticking. Mm -hmm. And then we'll let it cook for like another couple of minutes in there like that. Yeah. All right, so the steak's cooking in there. We'll let it cook for like five minutes and we'll see how that goes. The steak's cooking up pretty good on that side. Um, you want to flip them over. Make sure you don't get burnt up. Yep. Ah, all right. Nice. Now what we're gonna do is you see those vegetables right there? Yep. Just start laying or layering them around the stuff. Grab handfuls of them and just dump them in there. Okay, now you gotta just throw them in the oven. Okay. <clears throat> so, open the oven, don't let it burn you in the face. Pretty heavy. Throw it on the top tray. Cool. Shut the oven door. And we're gonna set the timer for... Okay. Ten minutes. So we'll pull them out of there, get the steak on the plate. We'll stir those veggies up a little bit and then we'll throw them back in the oven so they can finish cooking. Ooh. Got it? Yep. All right. Cool. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's a nice looking steak. All right. So get that steak out of there, get them on the plate. Tongues are on the counter behind you. Probably. And uh, we'll throw him back in there. That's All right, nice. Just give those veggies a stir. And we'll throw them back in the oven for a few minutes so they can finish cooking all the way through while we let the steak rest. Let the steak rest. Yep, perfect. Put it back in the oven? Oh yeah. So, 
Where do I do the end so I don't burn those off? Put them on. Open the oven. Oh, get that with me. Grab you. Close the oven. All right, perfect. Still delicious. Hopefully. Yeah, so it's probably pretty toasty in there. But you can just get them out, throw them right on top of the stove, and you're set to go. Yep. Oh, getting my eyes. Yep. Good deal. I think that's it, dude. Yes. I think that's everything we were going to do. Roasted some vegetables. Cooked some steaks. We got a little bit of hot sauce we were going to put on one for Haley. Unless you want to try some hot sauce, too. Yeah, it might be good. I don't think it's going to be too, too hot. Well, then be hot, then. All right. A little bit. So, that's what we'll do. We'll get a little bit of... Veggies for everybody here. Give Haley a little hot pepper, is that? Should we All right. Couple of plates for the kids. So. What's that taste like? Steak. <laughs> just steak. <laughs> it tastes good. And the hot sauce can't compare to the steak. The steak just. The hot sauce tastes really good. Yeah, yeah, I like the steak. Did Nick make good steaks and vegetables for you guys? Nick made good steaks. Holy cow! <laughs> Excellent. It is really good steak. I like it. So that's like the chocolate cherry chunk sauce. Does it taste like cherries? A little bit? Is it super spicy? Mild? You can't really tell because you're just eating a steak that's delicious. Um, around mild, I guess. Yeah, not so bad. Not so bad. It's really good. Being adventurous today. Yeah, made a steak. Why not? Oh. I juked. <laughs> I always drop something. I know your, your classic move. <laughs> <laughs> I like Brussels sprouts. Got a bit of fat in that last bite. Yeah, that's definitely a ribeye. There's definitely some fats in there and stuff. Ooh. Spicy. Is it? Mm-hmm. Crazy with it. Not bad at all. Spicy, definitely. Quite spicy for me. Is it? Yeah, you don't eat the hot stuff too often, do you? No, I can handle yeah, it. Let me try. Let me see. It's really not bad at all, though. Oh, I think he meant like he wanted to stay. I'm gonna just take a little drink out of it. Oh, drink it. <laughs> okay. It tastes really good. Oh, yeah. I think it's really good. It is. We have a little more of that. It's a little spicy. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm still eating my steak, so. Wow, it's almost like... And it's got hot sauce on it. 
like chocolatey coffee kind of. Interesting. Oh well, we're gonna eat some steaks and we will try some more hot sauce in the future, but we just had to put it on some steaks. It is good steak and hot sauce. Both are delicious.